Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to discuss a problem based on Euler's theorem on homogeneous function. There is a function u, sin inverse of x plus 2y plus 3z by root of x power right plus y power right plus z power right. We have to prove the expression. Now let's take the sin inverse to the other side. So it will become sin u and rest of the remaining terms will be as it is. Now let's take this as the function f and let's rewrite the function f as f of x comma y comma z because the function is in terms of x y and z. So here the function f is both sin u as well as this entire term. So here we are taking the terms which is in terms of x y and z. So we have written f of x comma y comma z as the whole function. Now let's replace x as tx, y as ty and z as tz. Now the other side it is going to be tx plus 2ty plus 3tz whole divided by root of tx power 8 plus ty power 8 plus tz power 8. Then from the numerator we can take t common it will become x plus 2y plus 3z whole divided by then in the denominator let us write separately t power 8 then x power 8 plus t power 8 into y power 8 then t power 8 into z power 8. So it is possible to take x power 8 common inside the square root in the denominator. So numerator we will write as it is then in the denominator we will take t power 8 common then the rest of the terms as it is x power 8 plus y power 8 plus z power 8 bracket close. Now when we take t power 8 outside the square root it will become t power 4. Already there is t in the numerator and x plus 2y plus 3z then this t power 8 will become t power 4. Then we have the remaining terms x power 8 plus y power 8 plus z power 8. Now totally if I simplify these two terms it will become t power minus 3 because 4 will go to the numerator power as minus. So this t power minus 3 and the rest of the term is nothing but our original function f of x comma y comma z. So we will replace it here as f of x comma y comma z. So from this it is clear that it is a homogeneous equation of degree minus 3. Therefore by Euler's theorem we can say x into dou f by dou x plus y into dou f by dou y plus z into dou f by dou z equal to n f and the value of n is minus 3 so minus 3 f. Now for f as we discussed before the sin u and this both are the function f only. So we will take sin u here in place of f we will substitute sin u. So x into dou by dou x of sin u plus y into dou by dou x of sin u plus z into dou by dou z of sorry the second term is dou y and third term is dou z of sin u equal to minus 3 sin u. Now we are going to differentiate this with respect to x. So x into cos u then differentiation of u is dou u by dou x. In the same way 
y into cos u. Now, differentiation of u with respect to y. Then the third term, z into cos u into dou u by dou z equal to minus 3 sin u. Now, let us divide every term by cos u. So, the first term will become x into dou u by dou x. Second term is y into dou u by dou y. And third term is z into dou u by dou z equal to minus 3 sin u divided by cos u. This will become tan u and we have to bring the tan u to the other side. Therefore, we get x dou u by dou x plus y dou u by dou y plus z dou u by dou z plus 3 tan u equal to 0. So, in this problem, when the function u is given, we are supposed to prove this expression. By using the Euler's theorem, we got the result. So, hence, prove.